Hi everybody, so today it's just cursing here. Actually, I know it's about time I made a video because Kelsey has made the past two videos because she's injured, so she's been filming while I've been at ballet. So anyway, so today I'm here to talk about body image and humility. Now this probably sounds like super cheesy and you probably don't want to listen to this, but I have some really important things to say that you probably may not have heard before, so here goes. First, body image. Now, when I was a younger dancer and I was starting to get serious with ballet, I thought there's probably no chance I'll, I'll ever be a professional because I don't have like Paloma Herrera feet or anything like that or great turnout or extension. And I think a lot of people are like that, especially on YouTube. I see a lot of videos and comments and things like that where people just want to see videos on how to ex improve extension and where they want to look at people's feet and how to improve feet and things like that. I know this is very important in ballet, like, you want to have those things because they're good, but I feel like people value that too much these days. That's all they want to see. I mean, I just want to let all of you know that that's not all that matters. I think if you really have the desire to dance, you should just let your artistry and your love of dance to shine through in your dancing, and you also need to have great technique. Those are things that matter because actually I've watched dancers who have, you know, perfect bodies and things like that. And of course they're like beautiful to watch. But I think it is just so inspiring to see a dancer that maybe doesn't have the best body, but they're just so strong and beautiful and inspiring through their dance quality and things like that. So I just want to let you all know that those things aren't all that matter and you should just really work on becoming strong and work with what you have this is probably something you've heard a million times you're like okay whatever work with what you have but i just think it's really important to not abuse um your technique technique sorry <laughs> um like don't force your turn up this is so important because i've actually dislocated my kneecap twice from forcing my turn up because i was so unhappy with not being naturally like 180 degrees turned out and I just thought that's all that mattered I need to be turned out I needed to have good feet and things like that but it's not um so really to improve and get strong you need to start with realizing this is how I really am and then work with that from there this is also very important because I've learned that you may think being turned out and um, good extension... Did you hear that? My cat just sneezed. So anyways, what I was trying to say is you may think that it's being strong, but I've learned from so many teachers that they can see through that. That's not actually strength. Because I've seen so many people force their turnout at the bar and you know cling onto the bar so hard to get their leg higher and all of that. But actually, um, I've, from personal experience, I know that it looks so good at the bar, but then whenever you get to the center, you can't hold it. You can't turn out that much. You can't get your leg that high. But if you work naturally at the bar, you know, don't force your turn out, don't hold on to the bar so hard, then um, you'll be able to do that in the center. And then you get um, so much more, um, so much more. So much better. That's what I'm trying to say. So basically what I'm trying to say is even if you don't have the best body, don't be discouraged because there's still potential in you. You just have to let it come out. That was really cheesy. Well, anyways. So, but it was valid. Anyways. Oh my gosh, why do I keep saying anyways? It's probably because I keep getting off track. Sorry. So the next thing I have to talk about is humility. So you're probably like, humility, what the heck? You want me to be humiliated? No, so that's not what I'm trying to talk about. I'm trying to talk about being humble. That's what I mean by humility. Um, it's very important to be humble as a dancer. Even if you have a lot of talent, it's very good to have a good attitude and not get, you know, too full of it. I've seen so many people who've gotten so full of it and no one wants to be around them. And also, once you start to think, oh, I'm so good blah blah blah, then I've seen a lot of people who get too confident and then they don't work as hard because they think, oh it's okay, I got it in the bag, all that, and then their potential goes down, down, down until they haven't gone anywhere in a year and they don't improve. So that's really sad. So be humble. Be humble. 
Supreme Court. Is this necklace annoying you yet? It's annoying me. Sorry. I'm going to turn around. It's too shiny. Another important thing to be humble for is that I've noticed a lot of um, older dancers that are um, not humble at all, like really full of it. Those are never the ones that the younger younger girls look up to because everyone always thinks, oh my gosh, they're so snobby and all that. You don't want to be like that. That's really sad. So, yes, you can be a good role model, be a good dancer, and be humble. Also, I think it being humble also has to do a lot with your improvement. By being humble, you could also always find something to improve on yourself. Like, instead of thinking, oh my gosh, my degages, they're so great. I don't have to work on them anymore. They're just so great. So then you don't work on them, and you probably don't even know you're doing something wrong, and you just don't improve. Sad. So, be humble. And have a good body image. Yes. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Sorry I'm being so weird. Bye. <laughs>